Imagine living in a place where it is illegal to die or where pregnant women can legally kill people without repercussions. Today we will be exploring these laws and more as we look at some of the most unsettling laws in history. Starting off this countdown we have death. Now this might seem very weird, but for the longest time it was illegal to die. Yes, you heard me. This law is said to date back to the Greek island of Delos in the 5th century BC. The island was considered a very holy place to the ancient Greeks, so they decided they needed to purify it. By 6th century BC, all dead bodies buried in sight of the island's main temples were actually dug up and removed. They didn't want any dead bodies near this holy place. Turns out that wasn't enough for them though and they ended up declaring that all dead bodies on the island must go. Then they got even more carried away and just said that the act of death itself was illegal. Which is wild to me, like what if you accidentally die? Like how are they going to arrest you anyways? Like you're dead at that point, doesn't even matter. But the ancient Greeks were not the only ones with this law. In 2005, the mayor of a Brazilian town introduced a law that made death legal. He implemented this law as an attempt to solve the city's problem with lack of burial spaces. And three towns in France also have this law. They have made death illegal since 2000. And that's because they were going to build more cemeteries, but their plan got rejected. So instead, they're like, Okay, well, if we can't have more space to bury the dead, then just dying is illegal. You can't die. Coming in at number nine, we have the pet hair. Now, America has some pretty strange laws. If you want to see a video on all the weirdest laws in America, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comments below so that I know. Now, in Delaware, you are banned from selling your cat or dog's hair. First off, who is out here buying cat and dog hair? Second, if this is a thing, then dog groomers would be rich. So apparently some people like to wear dog or cat fur, kind of like how people wear rabbit fur jackets. And so I guess there was this whole hair selling ring that they needed to crack down on. According to the law, and I quote, in Delaware, a person is guilty of the unlawful trade in dog or cat byproducts in the second degree if the person knowingly or recklessly sells, barters, or offers for sale or barter the fur or hair of a domestic dog or cat or any product made in whole or in part from the fur or hair of a domestic dog or cat. So don't do it folks, your pet poodle might shed a lot, but don't even think about scraping your couch or leggings to get as much hair as possible to sell. In our 8th spot today, we have the sharing of Netflix. Who here actually owns a Netflix account? Versus who here knows someone with a Netflix account that you are using for free? Let me know in the comments below. Now I ask this because in Tennessee, it is illegal to share your Netflix password. That is right. That is an actual law that was passed in 2011. Now apparently this law is mainly directed at hackers who would sell login credentials and passwords to people. But it also applies to the people who let their friends mooch off of their account for free. But if you live in the same household as the person then it's fine, you're allowed to share accounts. But if you don't, right to jail. In our 7th spot we have the wild swans. Now I did not know this, but in the UK, Every wild swan technically belongs to the crown. This has been a law since the 12th century. I mean, I don't know why you would want to put a claim on swans, but okay. Apparently, back in the day, swans were a delicacy, and they loved eating them at banquets and feasts, so they put a claim on all swans. But don't worry, allegedly they are no longer eaten. Allegedly. Now, since the swans belong to the crown, this means that anyone who injures or kills a swan can be prosecuted. And if you steal a swan, it's considered theft. In our sixth spot, we have marry a dead person. The fact that this is a law in the first place, it concerns me. Now, there was a time way back in the day in France where people could marry a corpse, but only if the family members consented to it. For example, if your partner died in battle before you could get married, or if you were pregnant with their child, then you could easily get married to their dead corpse. And by doing so, it would make your child legitimate. 
But people couldn't just be like, ooh, Nancy's dead? I had a crush on her forever, now I can finally marry her. No, that's not how it worked. In fact, in 1959, there was a spike of people getting married to their dead partners. On December 2nd, 1959, the Malpasse Dam in France burst. As a result, 423 people lost their lives. After that event, tons of people were getting married to their deceased partners. And as recently as 2017, someone married their partner posthumously. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the smiling. In Milan, ever since the 19th century, there has been a law where it is a legal requirement to smile at all times. Even if you're having a bad day, you better be smiling. The only exception being during funerals or hospital visits. Now I don't know about you, but my cheeks would kill me if I had to smile all day every day. Now it is very unlikely for you to get in trouble if you're caught not smiling, but they have handed out fines for it before. Now you may be asking me, Lindsay, why is this a law in the first place? To make Milan a happier place? No! This law dates back to when Italy was under Austrian rule. They used this law as a way to force people to accept foreign governance. They thought the people that weren't smiling were the ones against this, so they were easy to spot. But obviously this rule hasn't been enforced in years. In our fourth spot we have getting drunk in a pub. I mean it makes sense that if you go to a pub, maybe you'll have one too many drinks and you get a little drunk. Well don't even think about doing this in the UK. The UK statute actually prohibits people from getting drunk in a pub. The place where you go to drink. This law applies to pretty much any establishment in England and Wales that isn't private property. It just seems so silly though. You would think a pub is the one place you could get drunk. Now this is an offense under the Criminal Justice Act of 1968. This law states that under section 12 of the 1872 Lysing Act stipulates that every person found drunk on any licensed premises shall be liable to a penalty which currently stands at 200 pounds. Moving on to number three, we have the runny nose. Now this is another weird law from the UK, this time from Newmarket in Suffolk. Basically, this is the birthplace of horse racing. It was extremely popular in around 1606, and it became a huge business. So big, in fact, that they passed a number of laws to help protect their horses. One of them being making it illegal to blow your nose in the street. They were scared that the racing horses would get sick and not be able to compete and it would damage their business. So yeah, anyone who was caught blowing their nose back then would be fined. Even if you were caught walking around while sick, you were fined. Don't worry, these laws aren't a thing anymore. In our second spot today, we have the criminal animals. Did you know that back in the day, animals could be tried in court for criminal offenses? I literally can't imagine that, like a chicken taking a stand in court because it stole its neighbor's feed. But alas, it was a real law. In the Middle Ages, people tried animals in court. I kid you not, mice and insects got trials for destroying grain or damaging churches. Whereas larger animals like pigs and horses got trials for injury or murder. If they were found guilty, which they usually were, they can't really defend themselves, they would receive the death sentence. But it's not like they know what murder is or what they're doing. I mean, one time a pig in France killed a youngling and it got hanged for murder. Isn't that wild? Just thank gosh these laws aren't around anymore. And in our number one spot today, we have the pregnant women. Have you ever wanted to get away with murder? And I hope your answer is no, Lindsay, I'm not insane. But if you answered yes, well, it turns out it's pretty easy if you live in New Hampshire. All you gotta do is be a woman and be pregnant. In 2017, New Hampshire passed an anti-homicide law. New Hampshire Senate Bill 66 was all about fetal homicide, saying that a fetus is a person by 20 weeks. So if you accidentally killed this fetus, let's say in a car crash, then you would be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But the law didn't apply to pregnant women who might need an abortion. But somewhere along the line while passing this bill, the words got jumbled and it made it seem like it was legal for pregnant women to murder anyone that they want. So for a brief period of time, they could have killed someone and got away with it. 
Thankfully, they realized their mistake before this happened. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these laws you thought were the craziest. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video that we did on shipwrecks caught on Google Earth. Ashley Ray commented, can someone spell the first ship owner's name? Cause what was that? His name was like five words long. Like he had five names. I don't even know if I pronounced it right. I am sorry. I just, it was way too long. Vlad the Impaler commented, Lindsay needs a tie with little cows. I would absolutely love that. Connor had his little ducky tie. I definitely need one with cows all over it. And Steven Mercado commented, Lindsay and the Cheese King Conrad. <laughs> close, it's Connor, not Conrad, but you were close, okay? You get an A for trying. Follow him on Instagram, on his Minecraft nightmare, and on Top 10 Gaming. Check out those channels and check out mine. All right guys, that's all the comments are shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye.